Okay, yeah. so we've taken a clamp, a winged clamp for a lower molar. So, yep. All yep. right. Okay. Okay, so next thing is, this is the direct method. We're going to put the rubber dam onto the frame before we begin. Okay, so that's all attached on there. Now, if we're going to place this on a lower left molar, the most flexible part of the rubber dam is here in the center. So this is ideally where the holes would be. So if we imagine the lower left quadrant would be something like a J, an inverted J running around like this. Okay. So if we're going to clamp for a molar, we're going to place the hole somewhere in the middle here. Okay. So let's just let's just imagine we're going to do this for root canal treatment. So we're just going to put one hole in, okay? Because we're just going to isolate one tooth. So we're going to do a little hole somewhere like probably further there. there. Okay. So, if we demonstrate now on the patient, I think. Far is sitting underneath the patient's chin. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I just go around here. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So then we take the rubber dam clamp. You just open. The rubber dam clamp is going to be facing forward. Okay. So we're going to place this now facing forward. Far too much floss on there, isn't he? So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll cut to that bit there. Okay. So what have you actually done there? So what I've done now is I put the rubber dam behind the wings. Yep. On oh, the clamp. Oh, you stretch that hole around it. Okay. Okay. Yep. So that's on there like that. I so you've stretched. Oh yeah, the rubber dam over the edges of the clamp. Yep. I see. Yep. Mm hmm So not like this. Yep. Okay. But like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. So fold the rubber dam in half, the gauze in half, take the scissors. Okay. You've got a little hole for the patient to breathe through. Down there. Okay. Some patients find this more uncomfortable than the rubber dam itself. Okay, so now we're going to pull. Nice and wide then, please. Okay. I'm just going to place that over the tooth. Make sure it's far down enough so it engages into the bulbosity. And then just gently release, just going to gently release that. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. Okay, that's nice and firm. Yeah. So the next thing is to then take the rubber dam over the side. Okay. So that's under the wing and on the lingual side here. Sorry. There we are. Okay. So that's in place there. We've got a bit of floss actually. Is that okay or is it pushing on your gum? It's alright. And then the last thing, 
Bit of floss. Now I won't put Aurus, I won't show Aurus seal because you don't use that up at the London, do you? No. So I better not, better not show that, otherwise that might spark off a diplomatic more. <laughs> okay, so right, from it more. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, just gotta make sure I don't pick you up. Okay, yep, go. Okay. I'm just going to force that down. Okay. Pull that through the side. And we're done. Okay. Okay. Rubber dam done. That's Rubber done. dam off. Take the rubber dam off. Leave everything in place. I think we've done before, because you knew it was a lower tooth, you move the actual rubber down, so you don't get the excess on the nose. The with this, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, actually. I do.